Hi. In this video, I will show you how to manage PowerList queries from a central point of view. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go to a transaction called Powell underscore query. Then you have to select a query ID. So I have one from my favorite one here called Auto Status Tracking. First, you see here is we can change the description. The description is you see in the title of the query. So in this example, we have the order status tracking here. I can change the name of this. You also have the pile type ID, which you can use to find the feeder class. This sync call synchronizes the, the refresh calls to the backend. The layout, you see if you have a layout that's made from configuration, then you can select this in here. And then you have the refresh types. The first option is manual only. So here the user themselves control the refresh. On the first page visit, then it's the default query, which means the first query that's visible in the PowerList that will be refreshed every, or the first time the uh, the user opens up the uh, the PowerList. On every page visit, then the default query will be refreshed every single time they open it up. And we have the first list visit. This is the first time they open up this individual list. So in my example here. the order status track and if I click that then this will be refreshed the first time I go in there on every list visit then it's every single time I go in there we also have a few buttons up here that we can use the first one is query parameters so this is where we set centrally uh, selection criteria for the um, for the powerless query second we have the query settings here we can control which one of the selection criteria is first of all is mandatory so if the user needs to refresh the, the page these has to be filled out read only so if we for example have someone uh, some uh, criteria that we set centrally then we can set them as read only so the user still can see them but they can't change it hidden they're gone from the, uh, the query and lastly we have quick search which is the search criteria that you see in the quick search maintenance what you see out here for example also we have the calculated dates which works as it does in the ALV list we can set fixed date today today x minus da -da -da -da, so forth for the various date fields lastly we have the layout variant this is where we can control the layout from a central point of view of the query so we can decide which columns uh, to be displayed. We can sort, calculate, so calculate figures to sum up. We can filter. Also, we can display how many rows needs to be displayed in the list, displayed number of columns, and also some design features. So when we save this, we can save it as initial view. This means that this overrides the, uh, the standard view of the of the list. And then we assign this to a transport that needs to be uh, transported into the uh, the production system. That was it for the powerless query. Thank you.